Well, Mr. Wayne, you're from Moffitt. Hey, nice to see you. Thank you. President, my daughter Hachi. Hi. Hello there. And John. Hi. How are you? Oh, well, you're right. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to see you in your front yard. You look pretty good. We had a full fun lunch today. Oh, yeah. Give him all the problems he's going to run And that's why George doesn't know it yet, but I'm suddenly going to get a headache and he'll Secretary Brock and, and Mrs. Brock will you all take your tone marks right up front. And Mr. Vice President, you're going to start it off. You're going to administer the oath. Mrs. Brock, you're going to hold the Bible. And I have it open? I, I, I think either way you want to do it. It's, if you have a special yeah, in particular, uh, if you have chapter a particular you want to open up or something to. you want to go yeah. yeah. Administer the oath, and when the oath is finished, the President will go to the, uh, the podium we have in there, the little lectern, and make very brief remarks. And uh, Mr. Secretary, you'll follow the president with your remarks, and that'll be the end of the sermon. And we don't have any press coverage today. It'll be just our White House. And Brock Third, I William Emerson Brock the Third, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office on which I'm about, about to enter. So help me God. On which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. just heard all of us say congratulations. <laughs> I know you will serve as Secretary of Labor with the same distinction as you have the United States Trade Representative. There's not much adjustment needed either. You, we'll just move your chair around to another spot at the cabinet table. <laughs> I do want today, Bill, to say how grateful I am for the fine job that you did as U.S. Trade Representative. As you yourself told me, at lunch we've had less protectionism in the last few years than any other nation. You've come a long way since you were elected to the House of Representatives in 1962 as the third district of Tennessee's first Republican rep in 42 years. You've served four terms in the House, one term in the Senate, four years as chairman of the Republican National Committee, and four years as U.S. Trade <coughs> Representative. I don't believe in the stories that you can't hold a job. <laughs> but if you want another job in four years, you're on your own. <laughs> May I just uh, say thank you very much to all of you, and in particular to the President and Vice President for this opportunity. I have, as those of you who work in USTR know, loved the last four years, they have been a, a challenge. If I can do for labor what I've done for trade, we won't have any labor problems. <laughs> <laughs> we may not have any labor. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited about this, Mr. President. It is a tremendous responsibility and one that I accept uh, very gratefully. I 
Thank you very much.